The murder of a 16-year-old girl from Federal Way was a mystery for nearly three decades. Tips kept coming in in the death of Sarah Yarborough until genetic genealogy helped generate a lead, and that led to the arrest of a 55-year-old man in 2019. Now that man, Patrick Nicholas, is on trial. King 5's Natalie Swaby joins us live from the newsroom with what happened in court today. Natalie. Well, it is day two for this trial, and today detectives were on the stand talking about how the investigation in this case began. I was the first officer on the scene. Major John Matson received the call to go to Federal Way High School on December 14th, 1991. You remember that thing? Detective Michael Hatch says he was there too. Yes. He delivered his testimony on day two of Patrick Nicholas on trial, accused of committing the 1991 murder of Sarah Yarborough. Investigators say early on a Saturday morning, 16-year-old Sarah parked her car at Federal Way High where she was planning to meet her drill team for a competition. Around 9.20 a.m., she was found near campus. Detectives say she was strangled and raped. On both sides, there was police tape. Yes. Photos from that day show the crime scene and Sarah's white car inside and out. Detective Hatch described his process as evidence was collected. There might be some DNA under her fingernails. After the prosecutor, the defense attorney asked questions. Polygraphs were used to clear suspects in this case. Yes. And were you aware that at one point Detective Jim Doyen hypnotized people in this case? I don't know for sure. The lead detective says in the first couple of weeks, they had lots of resources dedicated to the case. As time goes on, detectives go off the case because they have their own homicide cases. Tips came in, but it wasn't until investigators turned to forensic genetic genealogy that they narrowed in on Patrick Nicholas. Using DNA and collecting Nicholas's discarded cigarettes led to a match, according to prosecutors. Now, Nicholas's attorney maintains that detectives arrested the wrong person. The trial continues tomorrow morning with witnesses and more investigators expected to testify. Live in the newsroom, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.